KTL exclusive. Oh, oh, it's a car in the building. Uh, we ain't sorry if we kill it. Riding for my God, niggas know I'm never swerving. Spreading love, cause our people hurt me. Yeah. Is it oppression or depression? Is it all that? How you doing, bro? Where you from? Where you from? Buffalo. Buffalo. Both of y'all from Buffalo. What y'all doing out here for New Year's or something? Alright, so. I'm not asking how this life. So, the calendar that America has, right? I'm saying, y'all think. Y'all think that's the calendar we had, you know what I'm saying, in our cultures and stuff? Nah, December the 10th month. December the 10th month, right? So. So I gotta ask y'all, well, what y'all celebrate New Year's? So called New Year's? It's all for money. That's what it is. For money, right? So I'm saying that. Jesus' birthday was in the Right. And I'm saying people just finished celebrating the birthday of Nimrod. That was in Jesus' birthday. And understand that Jesus ain't celebrating his birthday. That's not in the Bible. The, in our culture, the Jews' culture, which the real Jews are the Negroes in America today. That's right. The descendants of slavery, we are the real Jews, right? In our culture, we didn't celebrate no birthdays. You, you disagree with me? Um, not all black, not all the black. Uh, I mean, the original part was real black. But I want to say that that's me Northern Africa. Because if I say like Africans, they was more into the pagan type of like, yeah. like, like Central, like Congo, South Africa, you know, just Tanzania, well, the modern day country. Yeah. Right, right, right. What I'm saying is like, uh, Jews, right? I don't know if you heard about the diaspora. Jews got dispersed, right, throughout every, like throughout, especially in Africa, right? They migrated to north and they went down, down south near uh, uh, Sierra Leone, things like that. Ghana, right? And then the same people, the same Jews that migrated there, they got taken to the north. You know what I'm saying North and South America. They got taken to the American and translated slave trade, right? Because but like, going to the Bible, we're cursed. You may have been around 28. Uh, they shall get the book. I'm going to show you something. Because everywhere we go, what's that book? What's the Bible that? It's a King James Version. I mean, that, that's a book of spells. That's a book of spells. Where you, where you get it from? The King spell. James, I mean, well, King James was a homosexual in the federal I mean, you know, that was, I'm going to show you. Right? I got you, right? A lot of people say that. But that was a rule that his enemy put out after he died. Uh, and after his son died. So that rumor wasn't there when when he was alive. They would after he died to bring out that rumor. Right? And then people, his enemies, you know what I'm saying, he made that shit, he made it, he made it viral. And everybody's saying he's a homosexual. But where's the proof that he's a homosexual? People just say it, but where's the proof? We have no proof of him being a homosexual. But his enemy saying that. My enemy gonna say anything about it. Yeah, yeah, we read the book of Enoch, but we don't believe what in the book of Enoch. Because it contradicts what's in the Bible. But I'm going to show you something. I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to show you something. Right? King James was so-called black. Right? A king in England. Right? He wasn't no homosexual. He had a wife and kids. Right? You're not going to find no proof that he was a homosexual. That's the point, right? I'm going to show you something. This is Deuteronomy 28. And, and also, like, we don't make need. We, don't, we got multiple versions of it. Like, if you don't agree with the kids that we can read it, another version is going to say the same thing. Right? So, like, whatever he was, he was a king. He just he just commanded people to translate the Bible. He wasn't the one, you know what I'm saying, translating it. If he was a homosexual, he wouldn't condemn homosexuals in his own Bible, right? Put it out, out, out there, right? Right. right. This is Deuteronomy 28, and verse 43, right? The stranger that is within thee, so the Most High say, the stranger that is with thee. Right, so everywhere we go, we have people that are strangers. Who will be strangers? People that's not of your own. <laughs> like, strangers here, you got the Arabs here, and white men, all the nations, right? Okay. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee. Most of the time, going to get above you very high, okay? And thou shalt come down very low. And you're going to come down very low. So everywhere we go, we're going to be the lowest. Right, and, and we see that in Africa, right, the people that had dominion, that had power, were in Africa, they took the people that was like the lowest people, that was in, that was less powerful, they took them and kidnapped them and sold us to the white man. And then the white man came and, and seized our cities and kidnapped us, right, and, and, and trafficked us to the, you know what I'm saying, America. So that's what happened, right, and that's the curse. We're going to talk about Gift 32. 
32. Thy son and thy daughter. You understand this? Like, when I read these things, you tell me who it fit. But out of, out of everybody in the world, who does these words fit? Go ahead. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given. So the Most High say, your sons and your daughters shall be given. What? Go ahead. Unto another people. Unto another people. Right. Then that happened to us. But that's what that. You know what I'm saying? Then that happened to us. Our children. Right. What they call it? Uh, today. But, but you know that the Arabs are the most slave on the African, right? The Arabs were more cruel to Africans in slavery than the white people. The Arabs were crazy. I mean, all of the, the same thing that happened in America, the same thing happened in Africa. Yeah. Them, them, them Africans and them Arabs did the same thing to us. They, they treat us the same way the white men treated us. And understand that. You consider yourself as Jewish? Right, or Hebrew? Yeah, we are Hebrews. Like, now I'm saying, a lot of Hebrews went into Africa. Right? A lot of Hebrews were from Africa. Do you understand Lilith? Jesus yeah, yeah, first true. Life, black true, true, but right, that's true, right? You definitely right. But I'm saying like throughout Africa, and I'm saying it's not just uh him mics that's all over there, that over there. Or or hemetic people. There's sophetic uh, sophetic people, right? Uh, damn people from Hebrews that's over there. Right? Throughout, like give me that, Zephaniah 3 and 8. I'm gonna show you something. But the most I speak about the children of Israel being scattered throughout Africa. Right? And understand that we are different from people, a lot of people in Africa. Not just because we have the same skin color, we're the same. You feel me? Yeah, you got some Africa, you go to Sudan. Sudan, a lot of them Africans are tall as hell. We're, you can already see the difference. Right? And, and, and when you read the Bible, when we're describing these people, we, we, we describe these people as, as giants. Right? Giants, Titan like not 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 angels having sex with humans. We're talking about like actual uh Africans that are tall as that, that that's where that comes from. Bring the side, I'm gonna show you something. Uh -huh. Zephaniah 3 and 8. Uh -huh. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith Yahweh. Beyond the river. All right, first ten. First ten from beyond the rivers of Ethiopia. So the Bible say from the beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, like beyond Ethiopia, right? Go ahead. My suppliance. His suppliance. Go ahead. Even the daughter of my dispersed. The daughter of his dispersed. So the Jews were dispersed throughout them beyond Ethiopia, right? That that South Africa. That's them there, Central and West Africa. Right, so but paganism and Islam were in Africa before the, before he Hebrews and Judeans and Jews show up. Say paganism, was paganism in Islam, like it's, it's not it's not a type of form on it, like a name on it, is because it's been it's been obviously whitewashed now. Say before before when? Before before Ju Judaism and Hebrews were like before Moses. Before I mean, all that. I, I'll disagree, but check this out. I'll disagree with you because what? Jude like if you speaking on Judaism, yeah, you're right. Islam came before Judaism, but Hebrews were there before Islam came. Right. I'm saying Hebrews was already there, like they, give me that uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4, like, but they lost their identity. But like, if you might be like, uh, I say, where your family from? Yeah, your family from. We traced it back, we did the, we traced it back to uh, West, basically West Africa. West Africa, right? Yeah. But so my, my dad's name is from, from Jamaica and all that, but we did the, the yeah. swab and pop. Oh, your dad from Jamaica, right? So he moved up here? Yeah, he moved, he moved to, uh, he moved to South Side Jamaica, Queens. Oh, he from Jamaica, Queens? No, no, he from the he island from Jamaica. The island Jamaica, right? Yeah, right. So, so check this out, right? When he came up here, was he still doing everything he did in Jamaica? He wasn't, no? So the same, same thing, when we migrate, we don't keep everything. You know what I'm saying? And that, that that's the most I prophesy these things about us too. We're gonna go to a different land and we was gonna lose a lot of things. Right? Some of the things we wanna keep, like even our some of the part of our dialect, we kept. Like we wasn't speaking Hebrew, the, the paleo Hebrew fluently, right? We made up we started uh, speaking different different languages and stuff, right? Bring this out, I'm gonna show you that according to the Bible. This is Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou, even thyself, so the Bible speaking to the children, even ourselves, go ahead, shall discontinue. Are we going to discontinue, go ahead, from thine heritage, from our heritage? We done this, we have been discontinued from our heritage. Why do you, why do you say, why do you say he's the devil? Why do I say he's the devil? You know who that is? Who that? 
know what I'm saying? Is that Jesus Nazareth? Nah. Who that? That's a white boy. Oh, you think white supposed to be Christ. His father, right? Let me tell you something. This the guy name is Caesar Borgia. His dad, right? Doing the Renaissance, painting him as Christ. Son, right? So, because uh, what? Renaissance means what? Reverse. White men coming back into power. And that was one of the mechanisms that they used to receive their power back. When they set up this image, when they, they went to out the world, made people bow down to this image. And once you bow down to this image, you accept this guy as your God, you're going to accept all white people as God. Right? And all that is white supremacy. Right? You, you, you look at the white man as God, and once you see a white man, and I'm saying subconsciously, a lot of our people, they give respect and reverence to the white man, but we let people know this is the death of the people, right? The Bible is anti, anti white supremacy, right? The Bible is right, but it's Torah, Torah, and I'm saying Torah in the Bible. That's our book. I'm gonna, I'm gonna read something for you guys. Right. This is America Holocaust by David E. Standard, right? Page 147. The Spaniards took babies from their mother's breast, grabbing them by the feet and smashing their heads against rocks. I understand that. what Spanish did. This the. If that's not the devil, you tell me who it is. People, the white men is doing these things to people throughout the world. Eh? They built a long gibbet, low enough for the toes to touch the ground and prevent straggling, and hang 13 natives at a time. It, so, in, uh, so they built something to hang people on it, right? Go ahead. In honor of Christ our Savior and the 12 apostles. In honor of their Christ. Because what? No, because understand it. First, they stole this idea. They stole, they, they stole the image, the actual how Christ looked like. Hair like wool, feet like right. Yeah. So you already know, you know what I'm saying? So now, when they give you this white boy, they can't give you the same story of the Christ that's in the Bible. Right. Because the Christ in the Bible is a is a man of of steer men. People feared him. His disciples were scared to ask him questions. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how feared he was. And they killed him for a reason, because he wasn't that white what I love everybody. Right? So they had to change, they changed his image, then they gotta change his his his, his yeah, uh, he wasn't no virgin. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You know what I'm saying? They gotta his change mother, his mother was actually you know, you know how he you know how he actually came into being? His mother was only 14 when she birthed when she was raped. You know, no, no, Archangel no, Gabriel no. never came down and uh, but think, but think about it. Where think you getting that it. information from? Think about it. Uh, a woman back in those times telling her, oh, I have a magical baby without actually having sex with Joseph. But check this, out. Killed for being a check this out. Check this out. Joseph and Mary had down. sex, though. Yeah. None According to the Bible, first. they had sex. She wasn't in rape. Uh, she, she, she wasn't born. She, was, she didn't conceive a virgin. They actually had sex. According to the Bible. Right. What about the Bible? It says that she was a virgin Mary. But what the word virgin mean? Virgin, like you go to the Hebrew, it's just a, a young woman that's ready to be married. You know what I'm saying? I'm, he gonna bring it out for you. I'm gonna show you. Right? That's all it means. Like, because words change meaning. It's written in the old English. Right? So when it's speaking about a virgin, you're not talking about a woman that ain't never had sex. Right, um, uh, Matthew 1 and 23, behold a virgin. The Hebrew word for virgin is part they know, I mean the Greek word for virgin is part they know, which means a maiden, a right, maiden. maiden. You know what I'm saying? And then you go to Isaiah, is it 14 and 7? 14, uh, 7, 14. 7, 7 and 14, you go to that Hebrew word virgin, it just tell you straight up. A woman that's ready to be married. Yeah, Virgin in the Hebrew in Isaiah 7 and 14. It that's says, why language is important because it all translates. Yeah. Yeah. A damsel, virgin, young woman. Young woman. You know what I'm so, so, give me that. Uh, what do you think about the Egypt, the Egypt, the, Egypt, the Jews in Egypt? The Jews in Egypt right now? Egypt back then, when, when like the Pharaohs right? walking around. Yeah, yeah, give me that. Uh, Isaiah, Acts 2. Let me show you. Like, we, a lot of Jews went, because we always fled to Egypt. Jew, the Jews always fled to Egypt. Like, you had to do the time of Jeremiah when the Babylonians came and sacked Jerusalem. A lot of them Jews like, look, man, this place is done. We're going to Egypt. And most high say, warned to them that went to Egypt. Right? Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm not
You also know that um, black, the Africans actually sailed to America before the Vikings. Africans sailed to the Americas before the Vikings. Yeah, yeah they were here. They were here. That's how you have seen them all Mac statues. That's Me, them, a them all Mac. Check this out. Nah, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something about the all Mac, right? The all Mac, they're a different group of, uh, of dark skin people. They're not the same as us. Why they even made it? They came out here, they built an empire, and they, you know what I'm saying, you don't hear about them no more. They vanished. Right? Because why they was living among us. Like, we was over here too. Like, like people they call uh, Aztecs, right, from, from Central America, and then uh, 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 the Mayans, the Mayans, right? So, they, the Aztecs is Mexico, and Mayans is from Central, right? Aztecs is Mexico. Right? So, they live among them. And, and the old Mexicans vanished because they couldn't, and, and we caught the Mayans and them, they called them people of robber lineage because they were different from the rest of the people around them, right? The way we, we, the Mayans moved, right? The way they, 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 their culture was, it was totally different. We understood that these people were different from us. I'm saying they're a whole different team, right? But for this time, I'm going to show you some Jews. We're in each, isn't it? Acts, I know two, Jesus, I know Acts 2 and 10. Phrygia and Pamphylia. Right. Get, get verse 5 in there. Right there. Uh, come. Acts uh, 2 and verse 5. And there, and there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. There were Jews, devout men, out of every nation under heaven. Now read it. Verse 10. Uh -huh. Phrygia uh -huh. and Pamphylia. Right, naming all these places. Go ahead. In Egypt. In Egypt. So they were Jews in Egypt. Right, so there, there was more Jews outside of Judea than Judea. Right, we were, that's how much we were scattered. Right, and that's a curse. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? That's a curse. Even till this day. So what you guys trying to do? What you guys trying to like, you know, study this? Like your job, like your family told y'all? Nah. Like you guys just I just, want, you just wanted to know more about your people. I'm going to let you know, right? Our family, like, our family grew up in Christianity. We grew up in Christianity too, right? We grew up in Islam. Islam, Christianity, yeah. We both, and I think all of us, a lot of us here came from Islam, Christianity, all these different kind of BS, right? And we understood that these religions are from people who conquered us, and we took on these religions when they enslaved us, right? The, 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 uh, the reason we were into Islam is because in Africa, with Africa, them, them, People of Mohammed, they came and put it on us, right? And then we had kings dealing with Mohammed people and all, uh, kings of Mali and all, like they, they got Islam. So, we're all, we're all men's Muslim. Yeah, yeah, he was dealing with, he was dealing with Mohammed's people. That, that's how his empire got into Islam, right? So, so people who conquered us and all gave us this religion and the white man gave us Christianity. But we actually created Christianity. Right, and Islam really came, both came from us, yeah, really. Yeah, all that came from. It came from us, but it was, that was when it was going on. That was when we was, you know what I'm saying, making up things. Yeah, because in the original Islam, you go eat beef, you eat pork milk. Say what? In the original Islam, the original Africans did the first version, they were, a lot of beef was like, prohibited. Yeah, 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 so, you know what I'm saying, so like, it's our people started these things. And then the other nation adapted and turned into some totally different. And then they, they, they basically took it and plagiarized it and gave it to us. You know what I'm saying? They, they chew it and spit it out so we can eat it, basically. So it's totally corrupt, right? Uh, uh, even when it started, even when we started it, it was us. It was going against our culture. Sorry. Because what? We're a people before these religions. So if this religion contradicts the culture that our God gave us, because as a people, we had one God. We didn't have different religion, different gods we were serving. We had one God. And that God we had didn't give us no religion. Understand that, right? Brendan? It's First Maccabees 2 and verse, we'll start at 50. Get out! Now therefore, my sons, 
Huh? Be zealous for the law. So we gotta be zealous for the law. He didn't say be zealous for religion. The Most High gave us a whole heritage, and we read that the Most High said we was gonna discontinue from the heritage He gave us because what we polluted it. That heritage He gave us. We brought in different gods. And I'm saying we start worshiping different gods. We go to the other nation and learn their ways. So the Most High is saying, look, that's totally. It's like you cheated on the Most High God. Like. Like it's like your girl cheat on you, you feel me? So that's how that's how the most I describe his relationship with us and how we did them. Us going to different gods, it's like we cheated on him. You know about the Orishas and all that? Like that, that pantheon and stuff? The Orishas? The Orishas like Obu, Nah, I've heard of Guru Guru. That's that's strictly black. Strictly African, strictly Uh so give me that. Uh, you got all that what's that? All that wicked stuff that the Europeans do is derived from our Africans. So understand that, right? Voodooism, right? It's, a, it's just a corruption of the priesthood that God gave the, the tribe of Levi, right? And who's doing the who, who's doing who's going to voodoo today? You got the damn airway people, the Shanti, and then Haitians. They're into it, right? And then people in Louisiana and all, right? They, these people came from the tribe of Shanti and stuff like that, right? So they're into that voodoo, cause what? They are the Levites, they are the Jews, right? The, from the tribe of Levi. Right? The Haitians, they come from the tribe of Levi, the center of the Maccabees, right? So they, you, you, you got that amount of time? This is Malachi 2 and verse, I'm going to start at 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. So, the Most High give us a priesthood, right? Uh, the priesthood, and I'm saying we could tell the future, like we we're cast lots, right? We could tell the future, right? You see in Buddha today, they'll throw bones to for fortune teller, right? They throw bones to hate, right? What else? Uh, they, ask, they dealt with stones and stuff like that. They burn incense to sacrifice animal sacrifice. Today they're sacrificing a pig, right? But in the Bible we're gonna sacrifice in goat blood, right? Goats, you know what I'm saying? Clean animals, right? So bring this up. And they should seek the law at his mouth. And they shall seek the law at his mouth. So the priests have to they, they practice the law, okay? For he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. So that's supposed to be the messenger of the Lord, okay? But he departed out of the way. So the most high say the Levites. Right, Levi, I'm gonna show you the Levites, right? You try to believe us. They departed out of that way. Go okay? ahead. Departed out of the way. Uh -huh. You have caused many to stumble. They at caused the they cause what? Many to stumble. They caused many to stumble. Right? Because you got everybody try to do, be into witchcraft right now. Right? Part of the reason is that because these people, the priests, they went off. Right? So they corrupted that priesthood and then they caused many people to stumble. Okay? You have corrupted the covenant of right. Levi. They, they did what? You have corrupted the covenant of Levi. So they corrupted the covenant of Levi. Okay? Save the Lord of hope. I'll save the Lord. Okay? Give me that uh, first seven, 28. Oh, that, that. So what part of the Bible is Genesis? Okay. Genesis? Uh, what part of the Bible? I mean, that's the first book. Because I remember reading Genesis, the story of like the snake and all that. And you ever read Pandora's box? Pandora's box, no. Like, which is basically Homer's BC. It's basically the same story, but that came before the Bible. Pandora's box, the apple of knowledge, the box of that damned eternity, like eat damned eternity. What you think? Yeah, Greek mythology, BC, Homer's time. So, so he came from Greek mythology. Yeah, BC though. That's not before the Bible. Yeah, BC, Homer, Homer was before the Bible. Right, Gr Greece, Greece. That was about time. Right, the, the Bible was there before the Greek Empire started. I'm saying we have records of that. Thing. Yeah, but it was, but it was, it was in BC though. Like right, Pandora's I'm saying that. Right. And the Bible was in BC too. Before. Now you say the. It came from, if it comes from Greek, it's not older than the Bible. 
You get what I'm saying? I'm, I'm probably being older than Christ. Man. But I'm saying, like, if it came from Greece, it's not older than Genesis or the Bible. Because, because what? Like, by the time the Greeks came into power, <laughs> like, half of our mo most, like, 70% of our country then fell. Right, we had the damn Northern Kingdom. They basically wasn't a people at that time. The Nordic? Right, the Northern Kingdom, like uh, the right, the Nordic. No, Northern, Northern, oh, Northern, 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 Northern. Right. You know I'm saying. We, they, you know what I'm saying. And then the Greeks came in power. They, they, they took some of us into slavery. Right. Like all them Greek statues are Africans, are African bodies. Greeks didn't look like that. Like they. Cause we were slaves in Greece, yeah. Yeah, yeah we were slaves. Like, they, stole, they stole a lot of our, they stole a lot of our stuff. Yeah, Greek, Rome. What? I'm saying, you asked him. First time. Nah, I just wanted to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? I always. I'm, you know, I'm gonna show you one more thing. I'm gonna show you one more thing. First time. Yeah, this is. What I said. First time. First Samuel 20. Like, this showed me that we was doing voodoo back in, in the Bible days. Oh, I know. Yeah, I know. Right. But what I, the point I'm trying to make it bring out is that the voodoo we're doing right now is on the dark side now. And I'm saying it's a corruption of the priesthood that well, you, don't, you don't think that falls under the individual personal free will? You don't think that does? I mean, you can use voodoo for stuff for good and for bad. Nah, it's nah. all about your intention. The person. reason I'm saying in general is because it's really corrupted. Like, we don't have, like, we're not doing it the same way we was. Like, you go to West Africa, voodoo is, you know what I'm saying, it's different from what's in Cape. And, you know what I'm saying, and, and the one in Africa, they got a lot of different gods in it. Different gods. And we was a monotheistic people. We only worship one God. So, if that, if that, if that thing is worshiping, or that voodoo is worshiping different gods, have different gods in it, you know what I'm saying it's corrupt, right? And these gods we can't even find their origin, right? But in our like where we actually came from, we worship one God, Yahweh. Yeah, call him Yahweh. Yahweh. We call him Yahweh. Yahweh. Right? But bring this out. First Samuel 28 verse 7. Then said Saul unto his servant, it is the king Saul, right? King Saul. Uh, he is from the top of Benjamin. Like you say, your dad from Jamaica, like to make him will be from the top of Benjamin also, right? Yeah. Then said Saul unto his servant, seek right. me a woman that have a familiar spirit. So he's seeking a woman that have a familiar spirit. Uh, a spirit that's different, like that got, uh, that's possessed by a spirit, like even in, in Buddha. A lot of people let the spirit take over their body, like, you know what I'm saying? They'll, they'll, they'll sit in a room, be in a room, and then they'll call the spirit to take over their body, and then the time the spirit was in their body, they don't remember, they don't know what happened. You know what I'm saying? That happened, right? Go ahead. Seek me a woman that have a familiar spirit, uh -huh. that I may go to her uh -huh. and, and inquire of her. Go ahead. And his servant said to him, Behold, uh -huh. there is a woman that have a familiar yeah, yeah, spirit yeah, yeah. at Endure. Uh -huh. And so disguise himself uh -huh. and put on the. Uh, Let put me get on. the point. Um. So I that. Verse 11. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Then said the woman. This is what, what the woman said, right? Okay. Whom shall I bring up unto thee? So, so, so basically, they're about to raise the dead right now. Right? You know what I'm saying? In Haiti, they raised the dead in food. Right? I'm from Haiti, but I know about this. Right? They're there to raise the dead and then make, at night make him walk by your house and scream. Some, some weird ass cave shit, right? Go ahead. So they're doing the same thing in the Bible. Go ahead. And he said, bring me up Samuel. So he's... How, how long, approximately how long was the Bible written down when all this happened? Because it was about, cause it, at first it was spread from word to mouth. For a couple, for, for a while. Like, like, like around right, like, right, right. years. I'm going to tell you, like, the time it was spread mouth to mouth was during the time of the Hebrews, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But when when we left Egypt, but remember, we were slaves in Egypt. The Israelites became a nation in Egypt. Right? And then we left Egypt. Once we left Egypt, that's when the Most High told Moses to start writing stuff. Right? Write the law in the book. So we can't have records of these things. And we and they have scribes and all that wrote the history of what happened at that time. Right? So it was to a process of time, like to our, our whole 
our whole kingdom from where we started being a nation to when we finished, to when we fell. Right, we was right. Back to the book of Enoch. Why don't you like the book of Enoch? Because it is in Genesis 5, 6, and 7. Certain, certain things are referenced in uh, Genesis 5, 6, and 7. I mean, Genesis speaks about the man Enoch, right? Yeah. But the book of Enoch, like we, the book of Enoch, like we have today, it was the white man wrote it. I'll keep it real, with you. the white man wrote that, and when you read it, I've read it before. You read it totally, I'm contradicting the Bible. It speaks about angels having sex with women, like we don't believe in this thing. Like, what you, like I said, the giants were just tall, tall ass Africans. Right? We call, we refer to these people as giants. And, and then people of men of renown. They, uh, uh, when matter of fact, let's get the story. Genesis six. I'm, let me finish this, and then I'm gonna show you what happened. Finish that sentence. God. Verse eleven. Then said the woman, Who shall I bring up unto thee? And he said, Bring me up, Samuel. And when the woman saw Samuel, so she rose up the prophet Samuel, by a man of God, right there. So she she basically disturbed her his rest. Because what? When you're sleeping, I mean when you're dead, it's like you're sleeping. From Ethiopia, Somalia. Nah, where y'all from? Where y'all from? Yeah, yeah, I'm shaking my hand. Where you from? You ain't gonna tell me. Now I'm saying these ain't our people, man. So, you know I'm people, bro. How you might, I mean, I ask you where you from. <laughs> Somalia. Somalia, this is not our people. And them Somalians, you know what I'm saying, they are different. Y'all came from Kush. They came from Kush. Kush. Kush, I will Kush, son of him. You know what I'm saying? That's where these people came from. You said what? You know what I'm saying, man? We're not the same, man. The white men took, look, bro, look at these people. Do we look the same? These people have a whole different type of date. Like you go to Somali, they all look the way they look. Us, we don't look like these people. Right. And I'm saying right. they're a woman. Let's not bashing our like woman, but their Come woman here. can have longer hair than our woman. Right? Showing you what there's difference. And, and the reason, and the Bible speaks about our women not having longer hair, it's a curse. But the most I put that on them, right? But I'm gonna finish this a bit. Right. She cried with a loud voice, uh -huh. and the woman spake to Saul, saying, uh -huh. Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art so. Uh -huh. And the king so, said, Go ahead. And the king said unto her, so Be not afraid. Y'all don't, don't believe in the honor of none of that? Nah, hell. Uh -huh. For whatsoever thou and the woman said unto Saul, I I saw gods ascending out of the earth. So the woman, he tried to raise a savior from the dead. And she saw, like, she opened another realm, and she saw gods ascending. Right? Well, so was King Tut before the Bible? King Tut? Yeah. Because yeah. Nefertiti didn't have long hair, and that's before. When did the curse happen? Oh. When, what curse? The curse of, you said the curse of black, wild women can't have hair? Because Nefertiti yeah. didn't have long hair. She was before this. I had three steps. Okay. Understand that King Tut, like I said, right? We're not Egyptian. Uh, we're not Egyptians. Why right? didn't them Egyptians? Where they come from? He said Somalia come from Kush area. They came from Kush. Egypt, Egypt, right. Egyptians come from Israel. Israel. Right. That's so a Benjamin. Because Benjamin came from Israel, who came from the yeah. Hebrew. So are you from Benjamin? So you're from Haiti? And I'm from Levi. 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 I mean, he just got flat, but he drew it. Simeon right there. That's what? Simeon, Simeon. Simeon? That would be the, 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 the Dominicans. So, uh, I'm going to show you some this. This is the further expound that we don't do Google. This is Deuteronomy 18 and 10 to 12. Here are things you must not do. Don't sacrifice your children in the fire to other gods. Don't. So, a lot of you, some cultures in Africa too, they start, they they human sacrifice. And the most high is telling us not to do these things, right? Don't practice any kind of evil magic at all. Don't practice evil magic. Right? Don't use magic to try to explain the meaning of warnings in the sky or of other signs. Don't take part in worshiping evil powers. Don't put a spell on anyone. Right. Don't. We ain't supposed to be indulging in these. 
voodoo stuff. Don't get messages from those who have died. Uh, don't get messages from those who have died. A lot of people, they talk about, oh, I'm going to call on the ancestors. Like my ancestors, you got a lot of people, my grandma came to me in my dream. Well, a lot of people get their things from a guy who resurrected himself in a cave. That who? Jesus. He resurrected himself in a cave. You said he resurrected himself? He, died, he died before, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. That's a dead man who rose, who rose up. Right. Yeah, the Most High rose him up. Right? But we're talking about people that's dead. And I'm not talking about people that died and came back to life. We're talking about people that's dead, that's no longer here. And our people try to get information from them. Right? Try to go to a damn a wizard to uh, tell them what they damn grandma told them. You know what I'm saying? So, so the most high time not, not to do these things, right? <clears throat> um, don't talk to the spirits of the dead and don't get advice from the dead. Don't talk to spirits of the dead, don't get advice from the dead. Right? So we ain't supposed to be in all these things, man. Don't be saying all my ancestors, no, I'm not. I'm saying most high, we ain't dealing with that. Like I said, our people are into these things because what? We have been discontinued from what the most high gave us. Right. And, uh, and we're just doing a lot of things are just a corruption of what the Most High gave us. Right. Now I'm saying, I'm, now I'm gonna give you the curse of the woman's hair. Go ahead. Con, um, uh, Isaiah chapter three verse um, seventeen. Therefore the Lord will smite with the it with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. Right. So the daughters of Zion. Right. Judah Benjamin Levi. The daughters of Zion. The Most High smite their the smite their scalp. Go ahead. Um, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Uh -huh. um, and that's 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 that's, that's, that's yeah. what verse was saying. Um, verse seventeen, the scam. There's more. Uh, verse seventeen. You know, There's more. Eighteen. This is the scripture. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, nineteen twenty. Uh, more on this. Yeah, you're right here. Uh, verse twenty-four. And this shall come to pass that in instead of sweet smell, instead of sweet smell, like I'm saying, that's a curse. Like you know how I'm not saying all our women are like that, but some women, you know I'm saying down there, they private area have a smell, and you know I'm saying the Bible speaking about these things. Go ahead. Um, and this shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell, instead of a sweet smell, right? Because we you read about in the Bible, our women have beautiful sweet smells. Go ahead. There shall be stink. There shall be stink. Go ahead. And instead of a girdle, a rent. Uh -huh. And instead of well set hair, boldness. Instead of well set hair, boldness. Right, so that's the curse the most I put on our sister's head. You know what I'm saying? Why, why is that? It's because, like I said, like I've been saying, we went astray. Right? We went and served different gods. We left our God to worship different gods in the other nation. And that's the reason we're in slavery to this day, right? Our women are cursed, our men are cursed, our men getting shot, our women uh, uh, being widows and stuff like that, our children growing up without a father, right? Children growing up to be monsters, so these are curses. Adam, Adam was a black man, right? Definitely. Adam, what made him, what made him leave Lilia? Lilia, his first wife. He was in widow. He was never with Lilia. It's not, it's not recorded in the Bible. No, it's not a report in the fight. Alright, so Eve who came from his rib, that's his first wife. Um, a woman who came from his rib? Rib means his side. Right? When it's talking about your rib, your side, like what's your side? Side of your family, like basically his cousin. She came from, for example, you got two sides of your family, your mom's side, your dad's side. And they were the first human, right? Peace. No. No, okay, I'm about to say it. They definitely you know what I'm weren't. Yeah, they weren't. I'm saying they had mom, fathers, yeah, and all I'm about that. to say. I'm about to say. So, so when it's talking about his rib, basically, most I give him his cousin to wife. Not incest, not incest, because, you know what I'm saying, back then, right, they, uh, it was common for them to deal with their cousin, not their sister. It wasn't dealing with their sister. Their cousin. Right. This is, um, this is uh, 2 Samuel 5 and 1. Get out. <clears throat> then came all the tribes of Israel to David unto Hebron right. and spake, saying, Behold, we are thy bones 
and thy be on thy bone and thy flesh. You know, your bone and your flesh. And, and Adam said the same thing about Eve. She's my bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh. Meaning what? They're related. Now I'm saying they're the same people. It's like you're my bone and my flesh. We're, the, we're one big family. We come from Israel. That's so, right. I, so I guess our main our main differences is our interpretation of the Bible. Like we can't interpret it differently. I got to interpret it in a different way than what you're teaching me. But check this out. There's no private interpretation of the Bible. It's no, 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 no. Like you know, you know how you say like language. Uh, we talk about the virgin. Yeah. But I'm letting you know a lot of these things. We were taught these things too. Virgin birth, right? White Jesus, all these things we were taught. Them. Nah, man. Yo, man. Thanks for the info, man. Yeah, you got fly for bro? Huh? You got fly for? Uh, bro. Let me give you a fly, man, bro. You got drop some. Thank you. We got you a fly. We got you a fly. Flyer. We sing the gospel, not talking, Kirk Frank. It's about God at the end of the day. We working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Yeah, we working. I tell you, man, I tell you, man, it's worth it. Whoa, whoa, it's a car in the building. Uh, we ain't sorry.